Exercise Mobility Guardian gave us the opportunity to operate the fighter squadron from a forward operating base and then to maneuver out to four different contingency locations in less than a week. So over the last week, we brought uh, over 200 DM airmen out to Volk Field in Wisconsin. And we've had uh, our own logistics, our own security forces, uh, our own comm, and a, a bunch of other functions from our wing to support 12 aircraft uh, and the fighter squadron to operate from this forward operating base. So the thing that we don't always get to practice is how quickly we need to reconstitute the people and reconstitute the gear uh, that we use at those contingency locations. So here, mobility assets are bringing us back all of our gear, bringing us back all of our people, and then we're having to get those reconstituted and out the door the next morning to go to a different contingency location. So we can keep our teams moving, we can keep our teams more lethal and more agile and more survivable, uh, and then fulfill the ATO from multiple locations as we maneuver. Exercising the dynamic wing concept and uh, maneuvering our dynamic forward adaptive basing teams has been really reliant on good command and control. So how do we talk between a forward operating base and a contingency location? Uh, what methods of communication are we using? How are we making sure that those communications are succinct and accurate? And then what, what time cycle are we doing to make sure that everybody has the information that they need so that we can uh, get resupply? So the collaboration between ACC and AMC has been really important in this exercise. Not only is that how we move the personnel and the fuel and the weapons and the cargo that we need to actually operate from a contingency location, but the two teams working together are able to figure out how we're going to do that quicker. We were able to do integrated combat turns after C-17s delivered us built 500-pound bombs. Uh, we went out and we landed on a dirt landing zone uh, with our own landing zone safety officers controlling the field. Uh, we were able to stay in the field using all of the skills that our multi-capable airmen have, uh, have honed over the last, uh, the last year or so. It was really important to get the squadron out to a new location that uh, has different weather, uh, different airspace, different assets that we're integrating with because when you bring all those things together you get a more complex and a more ambiguous exercise that's going to require people to make more difficult decisions and then learn from their decisions and learn from our mistakes so that we can go forward and actually accelerate change.